What can we hear? We can hear Santa bells, sleigh bells. And that is an indicator that I am going to be doing the monthly weeds for December. So my lovelies, just to let you know, when I release uh, the monthly reads out, there isn't a weekly read for that week. So my weeklies uh, will resume back in, I think it's Monday, the 7th of December, just to let you know, my lovelies. OK, so without further ado, let's get into these reads to see if you're naughty or nice and what is lurking around for the wonderful star signs as we go through the month of December. I'm now going to read in for my Sagittarius. So Sag, let's have a look at what is coming in for you for the month of December. What is going on? Wow, that, I'm going to take that one because it definitely wanted to come out. Okay, definitely wanted to come out. Let's just get another one out for you. So Sagittarius, Five of Pentacles. This is you in a bit of a downward spiral to start with and you go in at the start of December feeling quite low energy just feeling that there's certain issues that are weighting down on your shoulders and it's around finances as well for some of you okay worrying about issues to do with money aspects going into the very very start of December but it's just saying here um you, you know you feel like you're on a you feel like you are dealing with something where you're waiting for an answer or a result so you can uh close the door on that okay and then another door opens so there's something in limbo that you're waiting to hear on uh, a result a resolve which until you get that, you can't move forward. It's like to say the universe is shutting the door on you until you sort that issue out. So there's like an issue around you that you, you're sort of burying your head in the sand a little bit maybe. And it's saying, you know, you've got to take your affairs in order and, and then the universe will then open up the next doorway. It's as though as well, you, you, some of you are thinking, well, what's next? In store for me where do I go from here especially if there's people who you know um, are looking for work or new opportunities and you are there at the start of December thinking okay this is 2020 we're nearly at the end of it but what about my future where does my fort fights and fortunes lie in 2021 but it's just saying don't get worrying about the future at the moment okay it's you've got to deal with the here and now get everything into order in the here and now and by doing that this is when the death and rebirth comes in you see things in a different light once you start to address situations and things that you need to get in order by the end of 2020 but it's a big change for you it, it is um shutting the door on one thing for another one opens okay so there's a, there, you're in this transition period but you're sort you're sort of waiting for answers uh in the process so let's open it up a little bit more and see what else is going on for you sag what else have you got going on for sag you just feel like you're in the dark about something at the minute you're just wondering um what's going to be happening regarding some kind of financial outcome situation okay but uh, it's all about change changes okay we've got TikTok here so you feel as though as though time is running out on a certain situation but the time for me here is saying again the universe has got a hold on things it's all about divine timing so Yes, you may feel in a rut, you may feel stuck at the moment, you may feel that like you've got no vision to your future, but it's all because the universe has got a time limit ticking on, saying there is fortunes coming in, there is new opportunities coming in, but you've got to wait our time. It's all about timing, Sag. So don't get disheartened, okay? Don't get worrying about your future, 
just sit tight okay like the card showing here sit tight don't feel despair and just think to yourself okay the universe has put a time clock on me i've just got to sit and wait it out interesting so let's have a look what the next card comes out for you sag so what else have you got going on for the wonderful sag 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 I also feel with a TikTok as well, though, you've put a time limit on something. If I don't hear from this person, if I don't hear from this organisation, then I don't feel like I want to continue in something or other. You could be tied in a contract um, for a certain amount of time. And because nothing's really been going on, then you you know, you can release yourself out of that contract. And this is a decision that you might need to be looking at. Uh, as that time starts to tick down do I stay with them don't I stay with them so you have got options coming in I feel going through to the towards the end of December so we've got the fourth chakra which is the archangel Raphael coming in and Raphael as well is to do about with healing in some aspects so he's drawing in close to you to offer you healing while you're stressing over certain situations that you're waiting on a resolution of and then we've got the angel of strength so you've got two key angels giving you support here Sag to get you through this so you are being protected my lovely so let's just have a look um how the universe sees you what have we got going on for Sag how does the universe see Sag in December I feel like I want to go with that one there. Wow, <laughs> a brilliant card. Again, it's saying you've just got to sit and wait your time. We've got a chess board here. And when you play chess, if anybody knows the rules of it, it's all about precision, forward planning, guessing what the next person's going to be doing or moving. And it's saying to you, we've got the transformation here of the butterflies, the freedom of the door opening Again, it's all about uh, timed planning, structure and waiting to make that move. It's all about waiting to make the move. So that's how the universe is actually um, portraying you as well. It's, it's showing you there, sitting, waiting, contemplating, okay, um, wondering what's going on. But again, it's about divine timing before that uh, chess piece moves. So interesting, Sag. What else we got going on for you going end of December out into January? Okay, Ten of Wands, which is a lovely energy. Basically pack up your troubles and off we go. It's a new start, a new adventure. So you can um, put things to bed. You will get resolved. You will be able to advance as we go through January. So that door will open at the start of January for you. And there's a new... Um, road being mapped out for you then we've got the ace of wands coming in and this is all about i always look at this about uh your mind process again your your mind is going to be on overload by the end of december start of january because you are going to be worrying now <laughs> sagittarians are, wor are worry warts they really are worry warts they worry over everything even if things are good they'll still worry over the good and the ace of wands comes in but can you see here the release of the net being cut? So it's allowing more calmness really into the mindset where it has been on overload. I feel that is just saying it's a load off and a more peaceful uh, mind set. Even though you'll still be busy, busy in your head, it's not going to be so overloaded. And we have, wow, well, I'm just going to leave it at that one, Saj. We have new life okay going into the start of the 2021 it's this <laughs> this is when the universe is uh, time clock kicks in and hatches open and it brings in brand new challenges for you so that is a, a wonderful reading sag i have to say to myself that is a wonderful reading be sure to check out your rising uh, and moon signs because these readings are um there's some longer than others this month so you may have some additional messages in your other signs so do check those out i'm just going to pull out your charm and see what we've got going on there what have we got going on for sag 
okay and we have the fish now the fish is about emotions and also the fish here for you it's saying go with the flow you need to go with the flow hence the the fish uh, charm coming out for you also about uh, sensitivity because obviously it's attached to water emotions are attached to this and obviously there is a lot of issues that you are dealing with emotionally and struggling with um, going through but just know about the divine timing and sit tight okay allow things to flow naturally and you will reach this resolve of um, a new life a new beginning a new journey new things unfolding for you so I'm just going to read you my meditative poetry for you, Sag, just to tie up this reading today for December out of the little journals that I have here. So let's have a look what we've got for Sag, Sag, Sag. And we've got, oh, here it is, Merry Christmas, yet you seem far from happy in your heart. Things seem to be piling up on you, not knowing where to start, yet you are worrying over nothing this will all work out fine. 2021 will be the year that Sagittarius shines. And don't forget, I write these before, obviously, the cards all come out for you. And even my words are marrying in with this end card here for you, Sag. So, my lovelies, I'm going to get my bells. I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas the best you can under the circumstances I want to thank everybody for your support in 2020 because we've all been in it together haven't we struggling through and I hope that you will join me still in 2021 and I will look forward to reading to you then so Merry Christmas Sag and speak to you in the new year bye then